everyone. Welcome to another segment of Latin Connection TV right here with Rita Varios, bringing you the most exciting events in our community. And tonight we are minutes away from a really special film festival going on. And it's really special because it's done by students, by middle school students. And one of them is standing right next to me. She's going to help me remember. It's a long title to this film festival. Help me out, Brianna. Brianna, it's the, the Broadway... Broadway Bound Bound. Teen Film Film Festival. Festival. There we go. (laughs) That's it. And she is, indeed, your name is? Brianna Hammonds. Brianna Hammonds. And you are participating in this film festival. What are you doing in this uh, festival? You have a movie? Um, We're doing um, a film, a horror film called The Other Siders, directed by Darian Cleaver. Okay. And what's your role in the movie? Um, I'm playing one of the main characters. I'm playing the character of Constance, a.k.a. Olivia. Um, what I am, I'm the ghost who is trying to... Um, oh, we're not going to tell them. You have to stay tuned to find out what the movie is about, right? We don't want to tell them. <laughs> but what I do want to know is, how was the process? Did you have to audition for that part? Um, yeah, it was really... It wasn't so complicated, but it was tedious for the audition, and filming took a while. But it was really a fun process, to be honest. Well, good. I'm glad, and it's going to be a lot more fun for us who get to view them. I'm going to get more questions from some of your uh, some of your actors, fellow actors and producers and directors, to tell our audiences what it takes to make these films. So for now, we're going to say goodbye to you, Brianna. You can continue walking the rest of the red carpet here, and you stay tuned. I'm going to bring in, in fact, right here, I'm going to wave them in so we keep going. Come on down, my next participant. Hola. Hola. And you are? Andre Walker. And you are also part of this film festival. And what is your role? Um, I'm the director of our movie called Nothing But a Bully. Wow. Now, bullying is a really important theme, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. You agree. It continues to be a really important theme with our youth from middle school through high school and even sometimes through college. So I want to hear about, give me more details about your film without giving it all away. Um, it's a documentary documentary of us um, interviewing a lot of students and um, reenactments of things that they've been bullied about. And and what did you find? Did you find that there was a common uh, denominator between the, the bullies? Um, they just bully about who they are, the other people. So you feel it's more of a projection of what's really going on in them and that's why they're bullying? Is that what you found? Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see the details. Now, how did you get involved? Have you always liked directing versus, like, how do you choose? I want to direct. I want to act. Um, I'm, I like directing better than acting, but I like all types of... And why do, you like, why do you like directing? I'm getting, like, all the dirt. Why do you like directing better than acting? I don't know. I like being in charge and... There you go. Good. Oh, good. That's a very good answer. Well, congratulations to you. We can't wait to see your film. I've heard such good things about all the films here tonight, but I still haven't seen them. So I'm really being an honest interviewer. I can't give anything away because I have nothing to give away. So on that note, I'm going to let you continue your red carpet walk. Thank you. And bring in our next, our next talent. Another beautiful young lady and... There you go. Come on in. <laughs> handsome young man. What is your name? I'm Rachel Huron. Okay, I'm going to make you guys scoot in a little closer so we can be... There we go. And you are? Sam Bremel. And tell us your roles in the film festival. Um, we both directed and we star in Tech 104 Romance Edition. And we are also producers in it. Wow. So you did all three. So now tell me, how did you come up with the, uh, with the idea for your film? Well, a lot of it is kind of the odd strangeness that is how we act during class anyways. <laughs> so, um, so wow. So, as parents that are in the audience, we get to get a little bit of an insight of how what goes on in the classrooms. Thumbs up as a mommy, I get to see. Because my daughter also tells me, and I have to tell you, the, the fun stories that she tells me, a lot of them, I'm like, I don't think I needed to hear that. Uh, but tonight, we're going to get to see that. So how long did it take to film this movie? Um, uh, Maybe a month or two. It was just so difficult because we weren't sure which shots and which scenes we were going to do. So luckily it didn't take so long to put the movie together. And how was it to do 
both you you know you both mentioned that i mean three things but in particular how was it to both direct and act like did you direct yourself did you direct each other how did that work well um a lot of uh it was also a lot of help from our teacher miss pedretti she um she really liked to help out with that good a shout out to the teachers definitely very good yay <laughs> so but but again Directing, were there moments where, like, you were directing yourself? Uh, yes, there was, because there's a certain character you have to follow in order to get the scene right. So that was a bit of a challenge. Well, I commend you very much because that takes a lot of talent, and that's exactly what we're all going to get to see tonight at this Broadway Bound Teen Film Festival. Thank you guys so much. So excited to see your your film again. Tell them the name of your film again. Uh, Tech Class 104 Romance Edition. Nice. Ooh, romance edition. So we're going to get some dirt, some <laughs> gossip there. All right. Well, stay tuned. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And we'll see you in just a bit. And let's see. We have more. Don't be shy. They're taking the whole long red walk, walk, <laughs> red carpet walk. Hi, ladies. Come on and squeeze in with me. And they're beautiful tonight. What is your name? Darian Craver. And yours? Jillian Teal. And you are... Actresses, directors, what is your role in the film? I am the director and I play Brittany. I'm an actor and I play Olivia. And? I was here already. Yes. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, and the name of the film that you're in is? The Other Side. Actually, it's your turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Your turn. The name of the film is It's Your Turn. Oh, l listen, it's, you know, it's live. This is, this festival is, as we speak, titles are changing. And as a matter of fact, I heard that there was a last, maybe you guys don't even know this, but I found out there was even a last minute film that was so last minute it didn't quite get to make it into the festival. But I thought it was, I, I heard it was very good. So we are um, going to get to see it kind of as part of the entertainment for tonight. So at least we get to do that, right? Um, and you're in it? I'm in oh, it. I, I, helped, I helped edit it, and it's called Rashida. Oh, very good. So there it is. All of the films that, that you all worked on very hard are being featured. Now, can you tell us the, the cause? Because there really is kind of a, a reasoning behind putting together this film festival. Can you tell us what that's about, any of you? Uh, you want to say something? I, I don't know. What do you want to say something? Um... I mean, my sister, she helped write this, and I thought it would be very special, very special if I did it for her as a movie. But now, I, I know the title of the film festival, Broadway Bound, there's a reason behind that. Is It's that you guys are literally Broadway bound on a trip, correct? Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Nope. Nope. I, Still I, can't I, tell you about it. We, going... we have honest parents. You did good. Very honest students here. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Please do. Um, I'm going to New York this... Ta-da! Hence the Broadway! <laughs> and so I hope that this will be very good for to help me out. When to, I to give you experience, right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys already know that this is what you, the profession that you want to be? Actually, I want to go into voice acting more than acting, but... I, I love acting on stage more than a lot of stuff. So you would be more of a Broadway type actor. Very good. But you can still do voice. Very good. And you? Um, for most of my life, I wanted to do theater and stage acting. Not really film acting, but it's still fun to do film. Um, but recently, I've decided to go into business instead. So. Well, you could go into the business of film. Right? Well, there you have it. So much talent here tonight gathered. And I know there's more. I'm going to say goodbye to you ladies so you can start getting ready and prepared to view your films and see who's going to win because this is a true festival, everyone. You are going to see who the winners are. And I'm back. As I told you, there's so much talent here tonight. And I'm back with one of the directors. We already interviewed her briefly, Andrea, who did the other but Nothing but a bully. And joining us to my right, I'm going to guess it's one of the talent that's in your film. Is that right? What is your name? Brianna Becerra. Brianna Becerra. And she is uh, an actress in the film. Is that correct? No, I helped produce. Oh, a producer, a co-producer of this film. Tell us why you wanted to deal with this topic. Is it something that you've dealt with yourself? Um, not really, but we just wanted to show people how it affects them. Mm-hmm. And how sad it is. 
Do you have, by any chance, do both of you or either of you or any of you have personal friends that uh, that went through that? Yes. You do. And how did you, when that friend, uh, you saw them going through that or they confessed to you that they were being bullied, How did? what did you do? Um, I just tried to help them and told them to tell someone about it. And now this wonderful film is going to tell so many more about it. And you said you also had a friend. Yes. Yeah. And how did you deal with that? Um, we just try to convince them that people are there for them and we can help them. Now, are there, by any chance, are there any campaigns? I know a lot of middle schools and high schools implement uh, anti-bullying campaigns. Does yours happen to have that in your school? No, um, a campaign for the... Like an actual, I know my children's middle school, they have a uh, campaign for children to have a source, a resource that they can go to within the school. Does yours have something like that? Yes. Yeah, we do. On our website, web, our school website, we have oh, one. Good. What's what's it called at your school? Our school? Yeah. It's Rollinson Middle School. So there it is, Rollinson Middle School. And you can find that, uh, of course, in the uh, website for, is it NEISD? NISD. NISD website. You can find more information about Rawlinson. Mid Is it middle school or? Yes, middle school. So there you have it. Welcome. What's your name? My name is Marco Martinez. Marco Martinez. And you are? I'm an actor in the movie Jim Brad 0074. Oh, nice. I heard about that. I'm a big, who isn't though, right? Who isn't a big uh, James Bond fan, and these are kind of of that st of that style of movie, right? Yes, it's a satire remake. It's the alternative ending, but um, it's it's pretty funny for a short film. And are you are you a uh, James Bond fan? Yes, I love the films. Oh wow, he did not even stutter. I, I wasn't even finished, and he was like, "Yes, very good." So that hence you taking this role. How? What was your favorite part um, of doing this role? My favorite part was the. Um, fake British accents. Oh, there! Oh, give us a little of that right now. Um, thank you, Broad, um, for coming to the mission. And did you practice? How did you practice for that accent? Um, whenever I get bored, I start talking in a fake British accent instead of my regular voice. <laughs> I thought you were going to say whenever I get mad. That's kind of a, a good coping idea to adopt. An accent. When I when I'm upset with my children, what I do is I just add. We're Latin, and we have like two, three names, so I just pronounce all their names, call them by all their names. But I'm gonna maybe do that with with a Spanish accent or something like that. Well, listen, we are really excited. I'm really excited to see your film. Um, I'll give you a little secret. The man behind the camera is actually on one of the is one of the judges on the panel of judging. So. He really gets a hard role tonight. I get the fun part of being on the red carpet with you guys. So I can't wait to see your film. And good luck. And we'll see you maybe afterwards because I'm going to be back here, right back here, to interview all the winners at the end. So stay tuned. And speaking of acting, I'm standing next to one of the lead actresses of one of the films tonight. I love the title. It's uh, The hung The Hungry games is that right yeah i is. love that do you like the hunger games yes i do is it one of your favorite films definitely definitely and does it it's, like i said i haven't seen anything is it something to do with the hunger games your film yes it kind of revolves around the hunger games it's one of the first ones and did you have to you're the lead actress in this in this film right yes i am and did you have to audition for that um well, they kind of just gave me the role because I looked most like her, but we did all have to audition. So you did have to audition. Yeah. But see, every you never know what they're looking for. You need a look. You need everything. But I think you obviously had it all, the acting, the, the look, and the uh, talent to win the part. So congratulations on that. That's really wonderful. And I think we have another one of your fellow talent. Oh, a rising star. Well... They are all rising stars here tonight, so we're going to say goodbye to you. You can go ahead and file on out and get yourself ready to watch yourself in the movie. Very nice. And we have a rising star, as was described by one of the main teachers here from the event. What is your name? Heather Damien. Heather, and you are, are you also at Rawlinson? No, I go to elementary school. Elementary, so definitely a rising star. She's a grade below. What grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. Fifth grade, and you are 
actress, director, producer? I'm an actress at Triuno Productions. She's an actress. Have you worked in on other productions? Um, no. Is this? So she's she's being humble. She has worked on several productions, and you're here tonight. Are you participating in the festival? Is one of your is she, is she in one of the movies? Oh, well, good. So she's here showing her support, which is so important. As, as I have to say, I'm looking at and we'll show you some B-roll, all the family members that are here tonight. It's so important to support our children in their talent, see that developing and be there to foment that because you never know. You have the next Oscar winner. We just may have the very next Oscar winner right here in this room. So we're just minutes away from finding out. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Have you seen any of the films? No. Yay, me neither. So let's go and, and see these movies. Okay, high five. Let's go. Stay tuned. 